That is the message from TechStop this morning as it launches a statewide click it or ticket campaign. The agency encourages you to wear your seatbelt when you hit the roads to save your life in case you get into an accident. This morning, Nick Starling joins us live to explain more about this really important campaign. And Nick, this is such a simple thing we can all do. It is, Brooke. Yeah, good morning. We know North Texas roads can get packed out there, and there's some drivers that do run those red lights, and there's a lot of speed drivers out there as well. And the one thing you can really do to save your life is just to buckle up to keep yourself safe. Now, unfortunately, we know there's a lot of people out there who don't buckle up before hitting the roads, and it can cost you in many ways. Here's a disturbing number, according to TechStot. Over 1,200 unbuckled drivers and passengers died last year, up 2.5% from the previous year. They say wearing a seatbelt reduces the risk of dying in a vehicle crash up to 45%. Now, this is a state law, and law enforcement officers will be working overtime looking for drivers who are not buckled up, including your children in a car seat. If you're caught, fines, including court costs, can add up to $250. Here's another staff from TechStot. 60% of fatal crashes happen at night or right now in the early morning hours, and 60% of those killed we're not wearing seatbelts. One crash victim was not buckled up and suffered a traumatic brain injury after a crash, leaving her unable to speak on her own. I was on my way to work and lost control of the car and ran off the road into a ravine. But because I had not buckled up, I broke nearly every bone in my body. I also suffered a traumatic brain injury that's left me unable to walk, talk, or fully use my left arm and leg. TechStot says about 10% of drivers out there do not want their do not wear their seatbelts. Of course, they want that number to be zero and have 100% of us wearing our seatbelts. Now, this campaign runs until June 4th. Of course, that's no excuse for not you not to wear your seatbelt after that. Live in Dallas, Nick Starling, CBS News, Texas. Good information and an important reminder, Nick.